desperation and fear. That's all that I can choke this up to be. Alyssa McConte puts out a tweet, s deletes it shortly after putting it up there because another YouTuber actually put up a not put up a video about who has worked at Kotaku, that being Smash JT, and Alyssa was like, oh, we're making lists now? Well, I have one of my own. And it was like, wait, let's delete this. And in deleting it, the Streisand effect is in full tilt. Let's take a look at this. Well, this is an incomplete collation of YouTube videos about me and the creators that make them. I'm not watching these because I am sure they will cause irreparable psychic damage. But this is something you all should see. Well, before this list completely got deciphered, I was actually going through it. it it's quite easy to sit there and figure out this list. I'm row 15 or 10 or something like that. I'm this row along the side, uh, the last few rows in there, I'm in there. There's a whole list. Someone actually posted on Twitter this entire list deciphered on who's per column and every column seems to be their own YouTuber. And of course this originally got brought up on Twitter by the master of the TDS. It seems Alyssa is creating a list of creators who have made videos about her. I find it ironic that this all began with a simple curator list they deemed as harassment yet will be considered acceptable because they are the ones doing it. This all stems from Cabrutus Rambo making the Sweet Baby a curator list on Steam. Just making a list of games that Sweet Baby Inc. has on their resume. This is this is not a, a resume in of sorts. This is literally, oh, all these people talked about me. These are all the videos. These are all things I can cite as people talking about me. Well, DB Wild here got the took the list, broke it all down, and figured out every single column. You've got Real Hypnotic, uh, you know, thank you, Real Hypnotic, I know he did a live stream and a bunch of people popped over to my live stream from that one last night. We got Smash JT, Polish Productions, the one, the only, Vera Dark, uh, Official Trez, Ryan Roger, Athe, GeeksandGamers.com, oh boy, Geeks and Gamers, Words of Paradise, Leon, by the way, uh, Words of Paradise, I've checked out your channel. You've done, you've covered some Magic the Gathering stuff. I'm guessing we have a lot in common. And here we are, column nine under this list. I am here. It looks like I'm really in, in the mix. Just stirring that pot up. Alyssa can't get enough of these people at all. Lotham, Minimal Effort Gaming, John Trent, Angry Badger, and John Del Araz. This is absolutely legendary at this point. DB Wild, okay, I'm slightly, uh, the autism has not weaponized enough. I completely skipped over a column uh, of all the numbers after column three, Polish games are wrong. Column four is actually Will of Fans and five is Vera Dark. It just bumps down a list. That's fine, that's fine. It's, I, what am I supposed to say? I, I, I guess I have Kutaku as a fan of the channel. Thank you, Alyssa, for bringing light to my channel. The growth is already starting. And you know what? These are things that we're going to ride the wave and see where it really goes. Yeah, One has to sit there and wonder where this is actually going, where this list is, what this idea of this list was going through her head. If she put it out there, deleted it, just so everyone would see this, and the Streisand effect would go in full effect. I do have a copy of it in full detail. And if we, if we, you know, I can zoom in on here and you can take a good look at all these thumbnails or all these links. And some of these are time stamped as well. So it would be very interesting for someone to go through this entire list, like this one, Right here where my mouse is hovering in column four, you can see these are timestamps at 435. And there's been other ones. This one up here at 34 seconds. So she has officially watched these videos to get those timestamps. Yes, Alyssa, we know you're watching our content and welcome to the channel. 
Alyssa McConte, welcome to the channel. You want to sit down, let's have a chat. Maybe a few of us can get together and actually have a chat. Maybe we can talk about how you're, you're loving your Rangers in the playoffs because I love the Oilers right now and I'm hoping that we go uh, to the Stanley Cup final. Hi, I'm from Edmonton, Alberta. I got to say, it's absolutely crazy. Yeah, like every, you know she's watching these because the timestamps are in these some of these links. It's absolutely amazing, I have to say. It, it really is honoring that I am on your list, Alyssa, and thank you very much. I, you know, I, I'm just going to give some details here. The last list I got put on was a list from TSR during the Dungeons and Dragons debacle over a copyright issue that has gone up and down and is still going through the courts to this day. TSR since then has gone bankrupt. By the way, you might block people, but this doesn't stop people from seeing your tweets. Are there names there? Are there photos? These are videos about me. It is illegal to collect them, or is it? No, it's not illegal to collect them. The post was removed because the list is incomplete. Stop stalking my feed from alternate accounts and tagging people to harass me. Wow, you make a list and suddenly it's harassment because you made a list. What do you want people to do at this point, Alyssa? You want people to stop talking about you, yet you make a list that completely encapsulate everyone out there on the internet that's talking about actions you have done to harass other people, namely the Sweet Baby Inc. article that originally came out by Kotaku. Then you go on to the CBC, you go on to a podcast, you continue spewing the lies and the hatred on all of this without telling the actual story that someone went after, a, this was a Sweet Baby Inc. employee, went after Kabuto's Rambo, wanting his details, wanting him doxxed, wanting him to be deleted off the internet because this list was made in the first place. I thank you, Alyssa, for making your list. Not only do you put this, all the content creators on there, but you're also bringing more light to the situation that's going on around us. You're bringing light to everything that people are talking about, how this is absolutely fueled by ignorance. It's absolutely pathetic at this point. And one of the responses to Alyssa's tweet here is now non uh, plural cry bullies, a person who sio righteously harasses or intimidates others while playing the victim, especially in a perceived social injustice. This is pretty much mean girls in the flesh. This is Alyssa sitting there from Kutako going, I am the journalist, I am going to write everything down and I am going to have my way. But if you say anything about it and you criticize what we're doing, I'm going to play the victim. I'm the one that's being victimized here because I made the list here. You guys all made the videos. Well, what do you want people to do, Alyssa? You, you want people to be quiet. They're not going to be quiet. That's the way the internet goes. That's the way things go in the modern day and age. You do something that sits there and pepper gates completely tells the lie of the story and just saying, oh, this is all harassment. The criticism is invalid. No, all this criticism is very valid. What's going on in the gaming industry has been going on for far too long and gamers are fed up with it. We have seen Kotaku not write the game guides that they're, they're set out to do now by Geo Media, and we can see it's on death's door. We can see Kotaku might not be around much longer, especially considering IGN just bought up a whole whack of gaming journalist websites. So the competition for gaming journalists is now in the YouTuber space. It's now in people making videos. It's now, you don't need these big giant budgets. You can sit here where I am in the middle of a basement making a video talking about video games. And you know what? Drama, drama just breeds clicks. That's what this is all about. This is not my job. This is not my job to sit here on the internet, to sit here on YouTube. My job is out there in the real world. I am an electrician. I do something with my hands and I build things for a living. This is my hobby. This is something I do on the side. Uh, it's something I do to help out a friend, especially Vera Dark as a moderator in, in her area. And it, it, it's fun. 
it's a lot of fun being able to sit there and just enjoy the ride and that's what i'm doing here anyway if you've gotten this far in the video subscribe to the channel maybe maybe you guys can get something out of this uh i just try and do what i can here and make videos have yourselves a great day don't forget to like and subscribe i'm your proud canadian phoenix yes i'm also a canadian so you guys have a great day thanks for watching i'll see you again very soon